Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Today I uh, drove the boat all the way from Vancouver, British Columbia to Edmonton. Everything was fine. And then on the way out to the lake, I was coming down a hill and I heard some clanking in the back. So I slowed down, stuck my head out the window, and I saw one of the springs dragging on the ground. Bad sign, right? Broken spring. So today I'm going to take it apart and then drive back into the city grab the parts from Princess Auto, and then we'll put it back together. So stick around. You may need to know how to do this sometime. I don't think it's going to be that hard. The biggest problem may be the rust on the bolts. Okay, so see, I just had this kind of hooked up here so I could drive a little bit. You don't want to drive very far when this happens because the axle uh, is the trailer is riding right on the axle. So see, I when I look back in there, I saw an old rusty broken plate, so I must have cracked the bottom one at some time. So it was sitting in there, but uh, once it fell out over some bumps, the top one cracked. And you see that's a new crack broke right off there. And now this, this cross member here, the trailer is sitting right on it. Normally it's supposed to hover above that and bounce over. And uh, yeah, it's not supposed to be like that. You don't want to drive too far like that because if the other side breaks, your wheel and axle is now free floating from the trailer. It can swing back and cause a lot of damage. So be careful if this happens. Always pay attention when you hear those clanking noises behind you from your trailer. So in order to do this, you need a tire iron, a jack, and uh, you want to loosen off the bolts before you lift the trailer up. Also the wheel will spin, you won't be able to get them off. So let's see what size this is. There we go. That's the right one. You just need to loosen them off. Oh, the trailer is spinning. There we go. Another helpful thing for this job is an axle stand or a trailer stand. So you can put this under so once you've jacked it up, it doesn't fall on you when you're working on it. Okay, so we'll get one of these in on each side once we got the wheels off. I mean, once we got it jacked up, and then we can take the wheels off. Let's slide this jack under the axle, jack up the trailer, and then we can get to taking it apart here. And when a little jack isn't enough, get a big one. Okay, so I got the stand under there, time to take off the wheel. off put it off to the side now to take all these bolts off you need a big wrench and a socket wrench so let's take this off take out that rusty bolt look at that thing and here is my broken spring that's the rusty old thing. That's what we need new, you see. Broke there and I dragged it down the road because I was only about a mile from the cabin, luckily. So I just went slow and dragged along the road. You can see it grind down a bit there with sparking behind the boat. Okay, now we gotta take the other side off. Remember to spray all your bolts with WD-40 the night before you start working. We did that. It helps out a lot. If I wouldn't have, putting this trailer in salt water has really rusted up. These bolts makes things pretty hard to loosen up. Now this spring, this side wasn't broken, so it's still attached to the axle there. So we have to, what we have to do is take off these little bolts underneath here. There's four of them. We have three U bolts. Let's uh, unscrew those now. So I think we got all the U bolts. So we'll just pop this off. You see it snapped right there. So we're gonna go see if we can get a piece like this in town and put it back together. Hopefully, 
later tonight so we can go fishing tomorrow. Okay, so that's how you get it off. Stay tuned and hopefully I can find the right parts. I can put it back together later. And we're back. A few hours later, picked up my brother from California to come in and help. He's the other mm -hmm. fishing doctor, ER doctor, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they didn't, our spring length was 26 and a quarter inches. The only one we could get in the city on a Sunday was 25 and a quarter inches from Princess Auto. So we had to buy a new uh, hanger system. We're gonna use our old brackets, but just these uh, metal hangers so we can put a shorter spring on it. And that'll have to do us for now so we don't have to cut these brackets off and re-weld them an inch ahead. I think it'll work like this for now. And uh, I don't know, we'll see how it runs. It's not a problem, we'll leave it like this. I Say okay, what do you want to say? The spring was broken and now we have to fix it because it fell off when we were driving. So now we're fixing it. So we got these hangers, mounted them inside the old bracket. This one makes it so we can put on any size of spring. And we actually got, this is a little bit heavier duty spring. It's a three leaf. And uh, he's tightening it up good and tight. Bend it nice a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, that's okay. Good. <laughs> okay, so we've got our bolts in place through the spring, the hangers at the back. Now we're putting the axle hanger on this the leaflet, the leaf, spring leaf. Hopefully it fits. We had to use the old U bolts because the new ones don't fit over the axle because they're a different shape. So okay, so check it out. We had to use the old mounting brackets and we've got springs. My trailer got a little bit of a lift because we added those new dropper brackets so that it fit. And uh, it's gonna have to go a little bit further into the water to get the boat off the trailer, but I think it's going to work. Both sides, remember if you're changing springs, you gotta do both sides because if there's any difference in size, your axle's gonna be at an angle and you're gonna wear your tires out. So we did both sides and I think it should work. Let's go take this thing for a spin. Okay, anyways, that's how we changed the springs on our tire after breaking it. You can try fixing it just like us or do it your own way. Don't forget to subscribe, thanks for watching. Fishing Doctor's Adventures. <laughs>